this has been the project guitar. Uh, yes, it's a first act. Uh, when I bought it, I didn't know anything about guitars, so I didn't know any better. And now I do. So, uh, like I said, it's a project guitar, so I put a real bone nut in it and I refretted it because the, the frets you, you were actually, I was getting the strings and my fingers caught under the frets. <clears throat> uh, I put a completely new electrical system in it. The tremolo was broken so I just laid it. I just uh, tightened the springs down flat and tightened down all the screws. And even with everything being flat, uh, let's see, I have to reset the radius because uh, it matches the neck, which it should be flatter. So I'll have to reset that, flatten it out a little bit. But uh, the strings are still so far away from the neck that I'm going to put. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to put a spacer in under the neck back here because uh, this guitar has already proven that uh, it can't take the stress of uh, 10 strings, so, you know, 10s, so it has to be 9s. That's the only reason why I'm using 9s on this guitar is because the neck can't handle it. So anyway, so rather than taking any more wood off and just making the thing crack completely apart, I'm just going to put a spacer in under the neck. Hopefully, that will help it out. Okay, I've got the uh, neck capoed at the first fret, and the clothes dryer just went off. Got the neck capoed at the first fret, and when I fret, Twelfth, there is no gap in the string. Uh, there is no gap between the string and the frets. So I need to put. I'm going to put ten thousand relief in the neck. And go from there. The uh, truss rod. I want to show you this way much better. The truss rod is buried by strings, so I loosened up the middle strings. Where am I? I'm okay. I loosened up the middle strings and I will pull them out of the bone. I do my adjustment by an eighth of a turn at a time until I'm satisfied. Put the strings back in the bone and uh, bring it up to pitch and then I'll measure again with the uh, capo now if I fret first fret And I'm, uh, since I'm the only one that plays these guitars, I'm fretting only as hard as I do when I'm playing. Otherwise, you know, it wouldn't really be accurate, would it? But anyway, it's still... It's still zero clearance. So...
I loosened it by one eighth of a turn. Now I'll give it, you know, 10 15 minutes to loosen up a little bit. I probably don't need to, but that's just the way I am. <laughs> Let's do it right now. No, that didn't change anything whatsoever. Alright, that is a quarter of a turn. Now I am going to give that some time. And then I'll uh, tune it to pitch and see what the gap is. Okay, there's really nothing I can do get this neck any better. So, next step. I'm pretty cheap. These strings are pretty much brand new, so I'm going to try to get this neck adjustment done with, uh, without replacing the strings. <coughs> <laughs> like I said, I'm cheap. Alright, what I want to do here is uh, see if I can't see if I can't uh, angle the neck in such a way that I can tell how much of a gap I'm going to need to fill with the strings, you know. I really doubt it's going to be that easy, especially with this screw the way how tight it is. It's probably not going to angle much of anything. You probably can't see this, but. Uh,
the string. I don't know if the camera can catch the string tightening up. That's kind of what I want. It's not going to take much, I guess. All right, so what I did, I took the neck off and cut a piece of popsicle, popsicle stick. Now, this is 564 thick. I knew it would be too much, and it was. I know you can't see it from that angle, but the string is literally bowed out like this, right where the neck meets the string. So, yeah. So, um, I've got some household shims. I'm going to cut a piece that's uh, under 5 6 fourths and go from there. Alright, I put a shim in under the neck, in the back side of the neck, to make, the, to make it go that direction to get the strings closer to it. And it worked. Uh, it was 1 16th of an inch thick. Now, I'm actually going to be able to... Excuse me, I'm actually going to be able to adjust the bridge instead of having it lay flat. Alright, so I tuned it to pitch. And uh, I went for the octave, which... Uh, showed a couple of dead strings so I raised the bridge pieces, a couple of bridge pieces I'm gonna let it sit overnight and let the neck actually adjust itself and work into its new position and then I'm gonna um, go ahead and tune it up again